there, baby. Look at that. Pink worm number one. Oh my god. Alan's hooked up again. Godly. Pretty fish. Let's get it back in the water. guys welcome to another video thank you guys so much for the support on the latest videos I got my boy Alan with me today and we're doing a uh, what are we what are we doing Alan? we're doing a pink versus white fishing challenge so we're about we see we got Walmart in the background right here we're about to run in there and see which pink lures they have and which white lures they have and we're gonna pretty much get a packet of each and like he'll throw a pink, I'll throw a white, or I'll throw a white, he'll throw a pink, kind of vice versa. We're gonna go out there and try to go catch some fish with him. I don't know, this is gonna be a cool video. I just thought it would be neat. I wanted to do a cheap versus expensive, but honestly, I don't know which one to do next. So that's why I need your help in the comment section below. So be sure to comment below on which cheap versus expensive one you would like to see next, or tiny versus small, or any fishing challenge in general. But also pepper that like button up because this one's gonna be juicy. Let's get this started. just made it inside of Walmart. Now we gotta look at the pink versus white lures and just kind of see what they have. So as you guys can tell, they have all the soft plastics right here, but pretty much the only pink and white ones that they have is either the trick worm or they got the super fluke. So they got a pink pack of the super flukes, a white pack of the super flukes, a white pack of the trick worms, and a pink pack of the old trick worms. So Alan, what do you think, man? That's what we're gonna have to go with, right? I guess we so. got I mean that's the only thing they got yeah. so instead of just going with the worms I think I'm gonna get these as well I think we're gonna catch a majority on this but we're gonna do this just so it's more of a challenge rather than just you know doing one lure like that versus that we're gonna do all of these so we're gonna get one pack of these one pack of these one pack of these one pack of these so this is what we're working with we got the white zoom trick worms the bubble gum Zoom trick worms, the white flukes, and the bubble gum flukes. This one's gonna be, I'm never throwing anything like that. It's gonna be fun. We just made it to where we're going. I'm gonna warn you guys right now before we even get out there. As you guys can tell by my hair, it's pretty windy out here and I'm Sorry about that. I'm hoping it doesn't mess up the audio too bad. We're gonna go out there I'm gonna try my best to like cover it up to make sure the wind's not killing it But it is pretty windy so hopefully we can find some spots to where it's not too bad so you guys can hear There's Alan Bob if you guys want to follow him on Instagram I'll pop up his little his little thing. Yep, exactly. Alan got it and he's got his little poles right here We're gonna be putting he's already got a fluke on did you have that on before or did you put on the new ones? I had it on from the, the uh, Boys, from boys versus the girls. Oh, yeah, you have about to say so he's got the white fluke and then I'm assuming, you wanna put on the white worm first? I guess, yeah, we'll do white. All right, so Alan, I put on a white worm and a white fluke. Here, screw it, dude. You do the white and I'll do the I'll do the pink. Yeah. We'll just try it, that's what we'll do. But I gotta rig these up. I gotta throw pink fluke, pink worm on the old drop shot. We're gonna do that. All right, Alan, so here you go. I'm gonna get, or the white one. I got these. All right, you got the pink. So I do wanna ask you one thing. What do you think's gonna win today? Do you, out of all these, like, I don't know if both the pink's gonna win. Like, do you think one or? I think this one. You think the white worm? Yeah. Oh, you're crazy, Alan. <laughs> I, I don't know why it's gonna, why you, it's gonna do it. All right, so do you think the white, just the white worm, or you think the white fluke's gonna win too? I mean, the white fluke might kill it too, but I honestly think the drop shot with the white worm but, is gonna do it. But do you think like the white worm's definitely beating the pink worm? Honestly, I don't know. See, I think I think the pink worm's gonna beat the white. And then the white fluke is going to beat the white pink fluke. I don't know. I guess we'll see. We're going to put them on. We're going to try. Twist. What we're going to end up doing is we're going to be switching ponds that we're going to be going to. So the two that we're going to start off with, I think we're just going to be catching them on a drop shot. So that's what we're going to do. And then the next pond we go to, that's when we'll bring out the flukes. But for right now, we're just going to bring the drop shots to these two first ponds. And then we'll switch up later on. All right, everyone. I got the pink old trick worm drop shot he's got the white one i actually have mine weedless he has his just nose hook so i guess this is the first cast we're gonna see what happens there'd be some over here alan picture like next to me small 
He's a small one. Did he grab? <laughs> he came off. Gosh. Okay. I can't say that's fish number one, but we got some action. Yeah, that wind push. Oh my. Gosh. You see him? Look. God. Well, freaking awesome right there, baby. Look at that. Pink worm number one. First fish of the day. Called it right there. Well, that is a beautiful one. That is not a bad fish at all. Solid two, two and a quarter. Beautiful bass. First fish of the day, baby. On the old bubblegum worm. Let's get a release on him. Pretty guy. Let's go, dude. I thought I had like a four for a second there. When he was running, like he looked huge in the water. He's running with it. <laughs> Alan, what in the world, dude? I guess it counts. <laughs> Alan, what do you got to say about that fish, dude? Look at it. <laughs> that is crazy. That is one of the smallest bass ever. I guess it counts though. It counts. It's the first fish on the white, the white little worm. Fish number one. We got one for both, I guess. Even though that's a minnow for the other one. Oh. oh. The GoPro wasn't on. You guys just, oh you guys just missed probably the best catch ever. I cannot believe I didn't get that on camera. I walked up and I saw him. Literally right when I walked up and I pitched in there and he just took off and pulling my drag. Beautiful little bass right there, but that's two on the pink worm. All right, second baby bass on the pink worm. I kind of like right there. Oh my gosh, that's small, huh? Or actually, he ain't bad. There we go. Alan's probably about to get slammed. I just feel it. It's not the biggest fish, but Alan's got one. Is he big? Oh, dude, that's freaking sweet. Nah, -uh. I was about to grab the camera. About the same size as this one. All right, well, third fish. Alan almost had his second, but gosh, pretty little bass. Alan's got him one. Second fish. There we go. He ain't bad. I can tell you one thing. They're not like the biggest fish, but they're they're pretty healthy. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm about to go in. Good job, bro. Second fish. There you go. Second one on the white. Yeah. Well, I'll say if that is not a carp, that is a mega bass. Here we go, dude. Look at that fish. See how dark he is? Colors on this bass this is insane. Look at that, guys. Look at the greens and the blues. Ugh. That's a dark fish right there. I can tell you one thing, these things aren't too big at all, but they're just healthy, like they're thick fish. That is a nice bass right there. Let's get them back in the water. Yep. It seemed like it's huge for a minute there. Another dark fish. It's like the same colors as the last one. Look at this eye. On the old pink worm, look at that. They're just eating that thing, guys. That's awesome right there. What a beautiful fish. I swear this is the twin fish I've literally just caught. Same colors, same size. That's crazy. It's been like 10 more. Oh my gosh. He ate it when I was reeling it. Dude, I was literally reeling it in and he ate it. That's insane. That is crazy. Little guy. He, I was literally reeling the drop shot in and he just started chomping on it. He's got some little, little bellies on him. Alrighty, so it's time to go to the next pond. We just fished those first two. We did pretty good. I don't even, I kind of lost count. We caught a lot. So far the pink worm's doing a little bit better. Yeah. I, I don't know. I'm telling you, I thought pink worm's just juicy. I've caught a lot of good fish on it. I guess that's why I'm kind of biased towards the pink worm. I don't know. I've caught a lot of good fish on that thing. When I'm usually throwing a pink bubblegum worm, I'm usually throwing it, you know, weightless. You know, that's how I usually throw it. I do throw a pink worm on a drop shot, but it's more of a morning dawn color, like not a straight bubblegum. But man, it's it's killing it right now. And the white's still catching them. You know, I didn't expect the white to do horrible, but I just feel like they're eating the bubblegum better. And then again, I think the quality's just a tad bit better, but I don't know yet because this next one, I kind of determined 
determine that. There's a lot of small ones in here, but then again, there's I've had a buddy catch a monster out of here, like a straight 10. And then we're gonna be throwing these flukes and see what we can do because we have not thrown the flukes yet. And I think we're gonna get a good bit of bites on them. It's super windy. And I don't know, I think we might end up tearing them up on the old fluke. But the worm is just the drop shot's so fun to throw, it's so hard to put it down. Let's just go ahead and get out there. All right, Alan, so show me what you got going, dude. I'm gonna be throwing the white fluke. You're gonna catch him on that. I don't know. Hopefully, Hopefully I gotta throw this ugly thing. <laughs> the pink fluke, I'm, I'm very confident in the pink worm, but I just do not know about the pink fluke. This one's gonna be hard, but with this wind whipping, I don't know, We <laughs> hopefully we'll catch some. I don't know, man, the wind just looks so good. We might end up smashing them on it. Oh, dude, did he come off? How big was he? What? Yeah, he looked kind of chunky. He just about jerk it out of your hand. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> dude, he hammered that thing. Oh my gosh. Look at that baby on the pink, pink foot. Dude, I am so mind blown by this pink right now. I thought the worm was gonna do it, but then again, Alan just got a bite, so I think they're gonna start eating this. This wind right now, this fluke, gosh, it looks good. Nothing big, but thick and chunky fish. Dude, let's go, bro. First fish on the old fluke. All right, pink fluke going down. I'm gonna try cast out there with the old drop. Alan, got him a little, little baby bass, white worm. I don't know what's going on, dude. I just, we like <laughs> literally like five in a row. And I just lost like a two pounder, we would have had a double. But Alan got him one on the old white worm. Oh. Oh. oh! Trick shot, man. Good job. Oh, yeah. Golly, dude. Why does he feel so big? I'm telling you, these fish just feel so giant. I've never seen anything like it. See how small he was and how big he seemed when I hooked him? They just hammer this thing. That's the second one on the pink fluke. Island's. Throwing the white one right now, it still hasn't. I don't know, man. I guess it's just pink's day. I don't know, it might be. All right, everybody, Alan's got, is that your first one? Yeah, that's the first one. Dude, what did he do? Did he just like, he you like hammered. popped it out of the water and he hammered it all the way out. That's insane. That's awesome, dude. That is the smallest fish ever, too. I don't get it. That's just crazy. I got him in the head, literally. Oh my God. Dude, he, I never moved it. I watched him eat it at the top of the water. That was crazy. Next cast. I like threw it there and I just was about to click my reel and he just came up and just smacked it. Next cast guys on the pink fluke. Did you see that? Dude, that's a decent one, oh my God. <laughs> what in the world? Look at that baby. Choke that pink fluke right there. That is awesome. That's a pretty fish. That's not a bad one at all. Same thing as the other. Just threw it out there. Right when it hit the water, you just see him just eat that thing. Oh, pretty bass on the pink fluke. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Let's go. Oh. Look at that bass right there on the pink fluke. This is insane. It's just insane, guys. Pink fluke is kill. I, I can't explain it, Alan. I don't know. I think you called the pink fluke, though, didn't you? Yeah. I don't know, man. Pretty fish. Get it back in the water. Alan's hooked up again. Freaking awesome, dude. This is insane. It's like the same cast over in this corner. They're just tearing up the fluke. I guess the white one catches them too. <laughs> the white one's getting them too, man. Look at that, baby. Pink fluke is just wrecking it. I thought he was so much bigger, dude. For some reason, he looks so big with his mouth. He looked like a solid like three to four. And <laughs> he came up and like, oh, he's... Not that big. Thick fish for sure. Pretty one. See, you just cannot beat that, guys. When you catch them like that, you just win on that fluke. God. 
Cannot beat that. Hope you guys are enjoying this chat. Alright everybody, we actually just made it back to the truck because we're going to have to call it a day now. One thing I'd like to say is I'm sorry about the windows. I haven't got to look at the footage obviously, but I'm just praying that it's not too bad. But Alan, what do you think about the white the white versus the pink? Like what like what was your favorite or what do you think was the best? Alright, which one do you think was the best today? We'll leave it at that. Honestly, I think the pink... Pink flute? Pink flute killed it. The white one caught him pretty good too, but... I think it's that different color that really pulled the fish. Yeah, out in that little dirty water. Yeah, it was kind of crazy. Like I, like my, pretty much what I thought from the beginning was, you know, I caught a lot of fish on a bubblegum pink worm. I knew it was gonna catch them good. I usually only throw a weightless, but I already had a drop shot on. He had a drop shot on. We're like, you know what? Let's just throw a drop shot. And I know, I, I know they'll bite it out here. So, and it caught them pretty good. It caught them better than the white. That's what I was expecting. Yeah. But when the pink was going against the pearl or the regular white with the fluke i really didn't think the pink was going to beat it like i really didn't but it seems like it did it seemed yeah. like i had a lot more bites it was like when it was in the right area like then again i was going to think you know maybe it was the right area the right time you know you're moving it the right way but with how many bites we had like comparing the two i feel like i had a lot more on this one not only that they were committing to it a lot better they weren't short striking it and another thing is in that dirty water like this is a bubble gum color this is a really bright weird color but when you put it in that muddy water in that kind of dirty water it really it doesn't look like that you know it kind of looks more natural so that's why i think it did the best and i think they committed to it a lot better and it caught a lot of fish but overall if you guys enjoyed this pink versus white fishing challenge and you need to pepper I mean pepper people pepper that like button up also leave a comment below on what challenge you guys would like to see next if you guys want to see another cheap versus expensive or like a tiny versus big let me know which ones and me and my boy Alan or I'll take Adam or Chaston or whoever else out and we'll go film a video of that. But thank you guys so much for the support. Leave your suggestions below. Also click the little red subscribe button and then next to us the little bell. Thank you guys so much for the support. Catch you guys in the next video. <laughs> that was good. I got sky like the brother man, uh I cry cars in hella bands, uh I got a bra from the motherland, uh I got shooters wins, uh I get it, get it, uh Anyway, uh Pull up skirt in the hurricane, uh I crack cars cook every day, uh I get money, uh Every day, uh